Hi everybody, this is Dr. David Ross. I'm going to talk to you today about what is neuropsychiatry. I'm a neuropsychiatrist and that's a question I often get. Well, neuropsychiatry is the area of medicine that falls in between neurology and psychiatry, which raises the questions, what are neurology and psychiatry? Now those are things you've probably heard of, but you know, maybe or maybe you don't know exactly what those are. So we'll start with neurologist. A neurologist is a physician who specializes in disorders of the brain, the spinal cord, and the peripheral nerves. A psychiatrist is also a brain doctor. When most people hear of the term psychiatrist, they get an image something like this in their heads with Sigmund Freud analyzing someone lying on a couch talking about how their mother and father caused them a bunch of problems when they were little kids, etc., etc. And that is a part of what psychiatrists do. It tends to be a small part nowadays. But nowadays, you know, for various reasons, uh, psychotherapy, which is another name for counseling, looks more like this. And it's done much more often by uh, psychotherapists who are not uh, physicians and are not psychiatrists. Um, although sometimes, like I said, some psychiatrists still do a fair amount of psychotherapy. When I think of a psychiatrist, I think of more, something more like this, the brain uh, and all the amazing things it does and all the unfortunate things that happen when it doesn't work right. Another common question I get is, what is the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist? Because they sound alike and people get confused. In fact, there are a lot of doctors who work with something to do with the brain. I'm just listing some of them here. There are a lot more that I'm not even listing here and a lot of non- doctor um, type of positions that also involve working with the brain. Too many to be able to list. But I will focus on four of them that um, are close to my area of neuropsychiatry and we'll lay it out in a table here for you to try to explain it to you. First of all, education. A psychologist has a PhD, whereas psychiatrists, neuropsychiatrists, and neurologists all have MDs, medical degrees. Psychologists work with patients who have brain disorders characterized by abnormal thoughts, emotions, or behavior. Examples include depression and anxiety, and there are many others. Uh, psychiatrists also work with brain disorders characterized by abnormal thoughts, emotions, or behavior. So that's the same as far as that goes, same to, as uh, with psychologists. But there are some important differences. For example, uh, psychologists often do uh, psychological testing, which is a uh, can be sophisticated quantitative testing, uh, looking at cognitive function or other things. IQ testing, which you might be familiar with, would be a good example of a type of psychological testing. Psychiatrists usually don't do that type of testing, but we refer to psychologists for that. But a couple things we do that psychologists usually don't will be to, first of all, assess for non-psychiatric medical causes of psychiatric symptoms. For example, if a patient is sad and depressed, do they have maybe have thyroid problem, uh, hypothyroidism causing the depression, and maybe they really need thyroid medication to treat that. We also prescribe uh, psychiatric medication, and psychologists usually don't prescribe medication since they're not physicians. Jumping down to neurologists here, we mentioned they treat patients who have disorders of the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nervous system. So they do not just the brain but also the other parts of the nervous system whereas uh, the psychologists and psychiatrists and neuropsychiatrists for that matter we all limit ourselves to brain disorders for the most part as a part of our primary specialty. Examples of disorders that a neurologist would deal with include stroke which is a brain disorder, spinal cord injury and peripheral neuropathy things like uh, tingling or numbness in your hands or Feet would be examples of peripheral neuropathy. And finally, we get to neuropsychiatry, which is the area in between psychiatry and neurology. There are things that historically have fallen in the gap between psychiatry and neurology, and we try to help out with that. Examples of these areas include traumatic brain injury, movement disorders caused by psychiatric medications, and seizure disorders with psychiatric symptoms. And there are a lot of other examples that, that I could give. So this has just been a quick overview to try to give you some idea of what we do in neuropsychiatry. If you have additional questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.